Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are all having a safe and good day. And I hope you're having positive vibes. Um, you know, I know it's hard uh, when, you know, it's just like you also realize your own mortality when things like this happen. I mean, he was only 20 years old. He hadn't even really started. He just really got success a year ago. More people are reacting today saying it's way too soon. Um, you know, no, uh, Herbo said something. Rocco said, you know, was shocked at that he was only 20. He said, I didn't really know him, but I was rooting for him. Um, and he didn't deserve this. Uh, and then he talked about, uh, I, I hope all the, you know, suckers get removed from the earth. As human beings, we can live in peace and harmony amongst each other and enjoy the fruits of our labor without having to sleep with one eye open. Prayers and condolences to his family and loved ones. You got to be a super careful out here, especially in hip hop. Um, I saw that Irv Gotti put up something about, you know, hip hop's the only genre where you got to become a target when you become successful. It's because it's, it's, uh, when you're talking about, you know, gangster rap, talking about bragging about what you got, you're talking about street rap. Yeah, that's the streets. That's, that comes with it. Unfortunately, you know, like even when I was doing music videos, I was doing music videos in the streets. I was a target. Um, and you got to move accordingly. And nobody told him in Cali, I guess, that you got to move accordingly in Cali. Even if you got an Airbnb or whatever he had or a rental crib, you don't let people know where it's at. He probably should have been staying in a hotel. You know, I'm not saying he did anything wrong. He was living like a normal human being. You know, but uh, you can't, unfortunately. And I wish somebody had told him that, hey, you know, move carefully in L.A. Because L.A., any city, but like L.A., for some reason, just a lot of doors get kicked in and stuff and stuff like that. Uh, 2 Chain said that, uh, you know, be careful what you wish for out here. It's dangerous uh, to be success. Success can be dangerous. He says uh, he had many incidences in uh, San Francisco, Maryland, New York, Oklahoma. Stand up with the police in Oklahoma. His Cali spot has been broken into a lot. One left his phone all since being a rapper. He said, well, he wasn't really traveling like that before that. He wasn't anything but a rapper his whole life, really. Uh, a trapper would be even worse. <laughs> um, you know, Jadakiss reacts that we're losing too many young artists and I, I agree with them uh drake said sit by some good energy tonight in these uh unwelcoming times with some good people and express how grateful for you are for whatever it is you have and he said r.i.p you know it's like yeah i've been doing that a lot lately too calling people that i appreciate in my life i hit up core mega today i told them thank you for always teaching me early on in my life how to move in the streets because i'm not from the street. i didn't grow up in the streets i grew up in the city but i didn't grow up in the hood i grew up in like a nicer part of the city so i didn't really have to worry so much about that stuff i mean you know just being from new york period you're on guard a little bit but it's def totally different in the hood and uh mega told me you know basically be you know just be paranoid you know look in the mirrors know your environment don't let people know where you're at. All that kind of stuff. I remember one time I wrote directions to Cormega's house when he was leading me to his, his house, right? The first time I went to his house, he was like, you know, left, right. And I was writing down the directions so I could drive out. So he didn't have to, because this was navigation. I didn't have enough. Back in though, like around like 2005, I didn't have navigation in my car and smartphones didn't have, believe it or not, but didn't have navigation so good on there like that. Like, so like the GPS feature wasn't on in 2005. That was like two years later. They really got that perfected. So I was just making sure I could get out of there. And he, <laughs> he took the directions from me and burned them in front of my face. He said, never write directions to a real dude's house. And I understand why he said that. You know, he didn't want people to know where he lives. Uh, but you know, he really, I wouldn't have been around if he didn't teach me how to move correctly.
because when I was staying in LA, I moved hotels every two two days until I and then when I got an, an, uh, a house with my manager and some other people for a year or two, nobody knew where that house was <laughs> at all. And we always made sure we never followed home and all that stuff. Um, 5 eo foreign said, uh, damn, cuz it seemed like someone gets 100 years or jail from the streets. He says, I'm going to miss you forever. Gunna said, I was just supposed to, uh, I was just with you the other day. I had it when people make it about themselves. When someone goes, uh, Amber Rose even said, you were supposed to come over today. Yeah. It's like, come on. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Be safe. Be grateful for the people around you. Tell them that you're grateful for them. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys.